Hey, hey, up, hey, up, and welcome to Callum's Corner. Yeah, I'm in quite a good mood, to be honest with you. I really enjoyed my first vlog yesterday, so we're going to dive right back into it. Got another exciting day planned today. Uh, we're going to start off with a little special. Bat I had last night with Dylan Brewer. Don't know whether you remember him. Massive, massive, nuggety little chav, uh, BG Media guy. Uh, and then later, Eddie's coming over, so Eddie will be vlogging with me for a bit. I'll do a bit of dancing, maybe bringing my dance strong. Uh, and then later, I'm doing my sister a favour, the one I don't like. I'm picking up her kids from school. Um, I've got to do it because she's doing me a favour tonight and have my mum over for dinner. My mum's staying there. Because I have my ex-girlfriend coming over, um, probably I was thinking, you know, it's not the best to have your mum here when you're going to try and have Boom Boom, especially not if you're going to try and film the uh, kind of wooing as well. So, yeah, she's off and I've got to pick up my sister's kids. But I have a little pranking planned for my sister as well. So it should be a really exciting vlog. So let's get into Dylan Brewer. Do you remember Dylan? Do you remember him? What a chav he is. So I put my vlog up yesterday and Dylan started chirping up on Twitter with this. Bring that up for the magic of editing. Uh, yeah, for some reason, every so often, Dylan likes to pipe up and have a little shot at me. Um, I answered him, I answered him, I did a little video because I couldn't be asked to type anything out and that this was it. Oh, here we go, Dylan Brewer popping up again, the chavy little chicken nugget, wonderful, taking shots at me. Dylan, let's be real, my friend, you're not sure of anything, are you? You're not even sure how to spell your own name. You are a chavy little nugget with no education who would be lucky to work in McDonald's. Honestly, I do not know why you're taking pot shots at me. Are you even, what do you even do anymore? Are you even still doing your rapping, your little music? I've seen nothing of you. I think I've done two songs in the time that you've been sitting at home and masturbating, using your own tears as lubricant. It's pathetic, rapper, my ass bloody fapper more like it get lost go away uh, however he then decided to tweet this and call me a nonce dylan dylan we need to talk about this slightly this is a picture of dylan look at dylan's face dylan you are 100 percent 100 percent Bang to eyes, you've either nonced or been nonced. Look at your face, it screams nonce in action of some kind. How you can be taking shots at me, I don't know. It's absolutely ridiculous. In some kind of, I don't know, um, residential setting, either you were in care or on Young Offenders Institute, prison or something, there's been nonsense in your life, Dylan, let's be honest. Don't be taking pop shots at me. Popcorn the kettle bloody back. Unbelievable. Now, I'm going to give you a little taste of what Dylan does. This is his music. Yo, Dylan Brewer, yeah? Fuck Afghan. Final reply, yeah? We know what you've done. Now listen. Yo, I spoke to Danny on the phone. He was like, Dill, yeah, I rate you, bro. I was like, Dan, I already know. That's why you watch my vids at home, yo. That's why you watch my vids. Yo, why do you chill with kids? Yo, why do you think you're sick? Cause you are flexing next man's kit. Nah, 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 Space Raider. That's what I am. Dylan, we know what you've done. Yes, you took it up the bum. Dylan, you look like a fleet, but it was wrong what your care worker did. It's absolute rubbish, isn't it, that kind of rap? Absolute turgid rubbish. Dylan looks like a chavvy version of the Duracell bunny, standing there belting out his words like some kind of special autistic little rapper. It's pathetic. However, I'm getting a little bit annoyed with him dissing me on Twitter, so I may well make a diss track about Dylan. Um, no, I'm feeling dirty again when I say it now. I won't make a diss track. Maybe I'll make a diss track. If you guys want me to make a diss track about Dylan, I will make one. Um, it'd have to be an awful lot of likes, to be honest with you. Um, pretty much everyone who watched this video would have to like it. What about my previous vlog? How many people watched that? 9,900 people. If I get 9,900 likes on this video, I will send for Dylan Brewer and I'll do it in a week. Yeah, just bash it out. 
Um, yeah, there we go. Hype beast. I'm getting into this vlogging thing now, aren't I? Lovely. Right, I am going to stop this section of the vlog now because I want to do a reaction video as well for my commentary channel to the iDobs diss track. Uh, nice little plug there. I really am getting the hang of this vlogging thing. Uh, but I will be back with you shortly for the next section. Hey up, right, we are back with the vlog. My nephew Eddie is here. Uh, we just tried to film a dance segment. Um, for those of you who don't know, Eddie is my nephew and I try to teach him stuff every week when he comes over. We've done basic aggression, we've done self-defense, we do language and learning and stuff. And this week I thought we'd do music and dance, see where his musical tastes lie. Uh, but I don't know whether he just wasn't in the mood. Yeah, here he is. Say hello, Ed. Yeah. He's trying to talk, as you can see. I don't know whether he just wasn't in the mood, he wasn't feeling musical, or whether he didn't like the music I played to him. Um, I hope it's not that, because I even played the Black Eyed Peas and he didn't like it. I mean, take a quick look at this. <laughs> seem impressed did he but he's here say hello ed come on this is your chance time to shine now don't grab the camera don't grab the camera don't grab the camera just say hello say hey up eddie's here eddie's here eddie's here yeah, he's got a bit of a cob on, to be honest with you. He's a little bit moody. Um, I don't really know what's going on. He's normally much better behaved than this. He's normally a happy little fella. Eddie? It's since he learned to walk, he's become a little bit self-important. He thinks he owns the place. He thinks he just needs to march around. But he's still awesome. He's a good kid. Hey up! I have just made a very disturbing discovery. I've just been checking on my channel, my TikToks channel, and I've found that KSI, that knobhead, stupid idiot, knowledge, strength, integrity, my ass, has come along and he's claimed one of my videos that I made on him. He's claimed it. He's stolen it. Stolen the profits. How pathetic is that? This bloody multi-millionaire, ultra-successful rapper has come along and stolen my video. Well, the profits from my video is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Are you that desperate for money? Is that what it is? You're that desperate. You need to replace your spunky little mattress, you dirty little birdie. Absolutely pathetic. Beyond pathetic. Knowledge, strength, integrity, my arse. Eddie has got some words to say about this. My nephew, Eddie. Haven't you, Eddie? What have you got to say about KSI? <laughs> Take your dummy out. People won't be able to understand you. He's gone a bit shy. Just whisper it to me. Right. He says, KSI looks like a slightly slimmer version of bloody Harvey Price. And he says, only slightly slimmer, mind, because he's still quite fat. Pathetic KS bloody eye. You're lucky Eddie's here, otherwise I'd get really aggressive with you. Anytime you want it, you little hype beast, we will have a boxing match. And I know you won't be interested because I'm not a multi-million sub person and you don't do it for the love of fighting because you're a pussy. But if you decide to get off your high horse and you want a boxing match, I'm right bloody here. In fact, Eddie could probably take you, let's be honest. Couldn't you, Eddie? That slightly slimmer version of Harvey Price. What an idiot. Hey up, right, I've chilled out a little bit. Eddie's still here, he's munching on a pear. Aren't you, Ed? Yeah, no, no, he's trying to physically dominate me. All right, Eddie, chill, chill. I mean, the aggression's good, but it's quite hard to vlog under these conditions. Uh, my sister's kids are here as well. Uh, to be honest with you, being around the kids has helped me calm down a little bit. Um, I should have been a father, I would have been a great, great dad. Uh, would have helped me no end. But you never know what's in store for you. Maybe I haven't had children because I'm meant to fight unencumbered in a war or something. And I don't mean a normal spasmoidal war. I mean a war for freedom when we finally confront the spasmoidal politicians. Maybe I'm meant to have no children so I can sacrifice myself, you know. I don't know. You try and imagine everything happens for a reason. Uh, yeah. Right, I think I'm going to have to cut this vlog short because I've still got to shave my head for my date tonight. Um, and I've
I've got some plans uh, for my sister's children. I am going to feed them non-vegan treats and get back at her. I'll just blur their faces out. This is the new content we're doing now on the corner. It's going to be awesome. So this vlog will go up this evening. Um, I'll have my date tonight and hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to bring you some footage from that. And also pranking at my sister by feeding her vegan children dairy, sweets, chocolate, that kind of stuff. It should be awesome. Right, see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Eddie, do you want to say goodbye? Words, any words? No, you're just going to smear my camera with your little pairy hands. All right, see you soon.